Welcome to the wonderful world of chemistry. Today, with the help of the diffusion set by Mel Chemistry, we will learn how to make a reef in a petri dish. Perform this experiment on the plastic tray to contain any possible spills. Don't forget to put on protective gloves and goggles before doing the experiment. To open a bottle containing a reagent, push the cap down and turn it. For the chemical reefs experiment, you will need copper sulfate and potassium hexacyanoferrate too. Take the small petri dish, a syringe, a piece of filter paper, and two cotton swabs from the experiment set, and fill a disposable plastic cup with water. Set the small petri dish on the piece of filter paper. Add 10 milliliters of water using the syringe. Open the bottle of copper sulfate with the blue label and the bottle of potassium hexacyanoferrate too. Dip the two cotton swabs in water. Dip one wetted cotton swab into each reagent bottle. Take the swabs out of the reagent bottles and immerse them simultaneously in the water at the opposite ends of the petri dish. Both cotton swabs should be touching the bottom of the dish. Hold them there for several seconds. Then throw the used swabs away. Let the petri dish sit for one to five minutes. Watch as the reef forms in the dish. Both copper sulfate crystals and potassium hexacyanoferrate two crystals dissolve easily in water. When they meet in the center of the petri dish, the dissolved substances react with each other to form an insoluble compound, making the miraculous chemical reef. Try making four different reefs at once. To do this, you'll need the large petri dish, sodium carbonate and ammonium iron 3 sulfate, iron alum. Experiment with various combinations of the solid reagents to make a wide variety of beautifully colored reefs. Learn more about this experiment on our Mel Science website.